Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Soundworks 2 video and today we've got another um, on my idea commented by a fan so many many thanks to you, you know who you are you um, commented this idea so yeah today what we're going to be doing is guys we're going to add all of the dwarf planets all of the major ones anyway to the orbit of Mercury and we're going to see what they do so we're going to spread them out equally or equally around the orbit of Mercury's area so we won't have it precisely the orbit of Mercury because it's, oh, it's orbit is also on a slight tilt here it's got a bit of inclination and stuff, but yeah, no worries, because it'll pretty much be in the same location, which is probably going to be the big changer in this, so it won't be too much of a problem. But before we get started, guys, many, many thanks, as always, for um, the support and the subscribers and everyone subscribing and the likes and the comments and stuff. Keep it going. Let's see if we can hit our goal of 1,300 before the end of the month, because that will be awesome. But anyways, let's get into this. So, what planet or what dwarf planets are we going to be using? So we're definitely going to be using Pluto, because they're the king, or Pluto's the king, so... We're going to put you pretty much in... So this is the orbit of Mercury here, pretty much. So we're going to have... Yeah, let's have it about there. So there's one. That's Pluto. Then we're going to go with number two, which is definitely going to be Iris. So I've got my custom one of those ready to roll. So there's Iris. Let's put you there. Next up, we've definitely going to bring in Sedna in and Make Make. So we're going to get Sedna there. So there you are. Then we got Make Make. It didn't say remove Mercury, so we're going to leave Mercury where it is as well. So, okay, there's Make Make. No, not that one. I want my custom one. Where's my custom one gone? Make Make. Do I have a... I sure I have a custom one. Wait, where, where was it? Make Make. I don't, apparently. Oh, I swear I had a custom one. Oh, okay, we'll just use the regular one then. So let's get Make Make. Oh, I already have it in my options. All right, cool. Make Make. Then we're going to get Orcus as well, because that's quite a, mo or quite a known one. So there we go. So let's put you there. That's my custom one. Okay, what else we got? There is... Okay, Ceres as well. Ceres is a dwarf planet. It's not an asteroid. It's the largest object in the asteroid belt, but that that's still... It's still a dwarf planet. So we'll put Orcus... No. Oh, was that, was that Orcus? No. Ceres. Ceres. There we go. Let's put Ceres in there. Let's delete one of those Orcuses. So there we go. Okay, they're a little too close, actually, for my liking there. So let's just split them up a little bit. So let's put it there. Okay, what next? I believe there should, there should be some more we can use, I'm pretty sure. Varda. Okay, let's use Varda. So, where is it? Varda, Varda, Varda. There we go. So, dwarf um, planet. So, let's put you there. And then, probably room for two more. So, Ixi on there. So, it's called I. No, it's L I I O N. Oh, wow, that's really complicated. No, it's L-X-I-O-N. Oh, where is it? I, or is it a capital I instead of L? Like that. Ah, here we go. So it's an I, not an L. All right, so let's put that in there. And then one more. We are going to do... Hermea. Let's do Hermea, because I've, I've, used that, I've used that before. So let's get Hermea in, and let's plonk you right... Hmm, where is it? Um... Right there, so there we go. So now we've got most of the known dwarf planets in the orbit of Mercury. So we're going to go ahead and hit play and see what happens. So remember, Mercury is still there, so this could get interesting. We're going to hit play. So here we go. So they're pretty much all in the orbit of Mercury, as you can see. You, can, you can't really spot Mercury's orbit there, apart from the one that's sticking out slightly on the right near Varda there. Mercury's orbit is this one here, as you bit that one. So yeah, there's that. Now we're going to see what happens to these dwarf planets. Are they going to heat up? They're going to just break into nothing, or they're going to be fine. So let's go and have a look at these guys. So let's see. So here we've got Pluto first. So let's see how you're doing. You're going to warm. Yeah, Pluto's warming up in temperature. Oh, oh, look, it's losing material, and I'm not going to touch any of the settings or anything. I'm just going to let it be. So it's losing mass. It looks like. Hey, okay, that's interesting. Slightly getting smaller in size. Okay, so there's Pluto. Okay, Ixion. Okay, you losing any material? Doesn't look like it. There's Varda, Ceres, Orcus as well, Make Make, there's the normal Mercury, Sedna as well. Sedna's going to warm up in temperature. So there's Sedna, a nice red object there, looking good. Okay, I like that. Okay, who else we got? Where's the yeah, Iris? I want to check on this one. So Pluto and Iris, the two largest ones, are the ones losing material, it looks like. It's pretty weird. So let's keep going here. And let's see what happens. So there's Iris. Quite a lot to keep track of, but everything should be good. And these guys probably won't kick each other out because they're quite small anyway, so should be fine. So there's Make Make. Not much happened to you. It's just the surface temperature's increasing. Make Make's grown green. Look, it's got a green colour to it. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, is it still going? Okay, that's looking good. Is anything gonna happen here? So I, I'm assuming that nothing's really nothing major's gonna happen. See, Pluto has lost a bit of red mass and radius here, but it should be fine. I it, it's at a hot temperature now. So any frozen ice or methane on here would melt now, I'm assuming, so yeah, that would make Pluto look a bit different. So if it if it has got frozen water ice, it would look like or it, it would start to look like this, but it would all evaporate as you can see. So if there is any frozen water on Pluto, it would just completely just evaporate eventually and just disappear because remember Pluto doesn't really have any atmosphere, so it would all just evaporate into space. So yeah, that 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 would happen as well. And the same with any of these other dwarf planets. If they had water on them, since we don't think they have atmospheres, well, we think Pluto has a little atmosphere that comes and goes, but it's not really anything like a proper atmosphere. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Pluto wouldn't be able to sustain liquid water on it with its current atmosphere. And the same with these other dwarf planets. If they don't have atmospheres at all, then any water on them, frozen water, will just dissipate into space. Sort of like Neptune, um, um, Triton, the moon of Neptune's... Um, like geyser or geyser volcanoes or have you say it, they sort of spray material into space, never to be seen again pretty much. So yeah, there's that. And then you can see Iris here is losing material as well. What material is it losing though? It's 10 iron, 10 silica. It's not really losing, it, well, it looks like it's losing stuff, but they're staying the same. And its radius is staying the same as well. It's not changing or anything, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, so it's temperature's quite hot now. So there's that. So it doesn't look like anything's going to happen here. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, Mercury is still doing the same over there. And these guys are all looking good. So we can delete the other objects here because we don't need them for this. So just go ahead and delete all these because we, we don't need them at all. So let's just go delete all that. Saturn, Chiron, Uranus, Charlico, Neptune, sadly. Let's just go and delete all those as well. And then all of these, like that. And then Planet Nine. And then the original Haumea. So now we've just got Mercury and then the inner objects. So let's keep going. Let's just speed it up as far as we can go now. So as you can see, they're not affecting each other. You can see the awesome red center in there as well. So look at that. It's pretty cool to look at though. But yeah, look at that. They're even making the sun move slightly, which is pretty interesting there. So that's looking good. Now, if we pause now. So Iris is still losing a lot of material. So well, it looks like it is, but it's not... Well, it's only lost one kilometre in radius in 60 years, so this will take a long time to go down. Is it even doing anything like we can look on materials here? So it is losing mass, as you can see here. So it's losing a bit of, a bit of mass. So as you can see, it's losing very small amounts of mass at a time. So it is getting smaller. It was it started off at 1,164 kilometres, but now it's only at 62. So it has lost a slight amount. So by the rate it's going, it will literally take thousands and thousands of years for Iris to completely disappear. So I don't think it's going to go anywhere, anyway, or anytime soon. Pluto hasn't changed. It's stuck at 950 one now. And then all these other ones haven't changed at all, I don't think. They're all doing the same series is out here for some reason. But yeah, they're all looking good. So yeah, that is what happens if you put all of the dwarf planets in the orbit area of Mercury. Pretty much... Pluto and Uranus, they slightly get affected, but the other ones don't seem to be affected at all, except their temperature increases. So yeah, that is that to that little, like, um, question, or, like, I guess you could call it a question, what if you put all the dwarf planets in? Yeah, that, that's the answer to that. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this shorter video than usual, and, yeah, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more. Helps them join to 1,300 subscribers before the end of the month, because that would be awesome. And, yeah, there we go. So make sure you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.